Hi everyone. Today I want to do a very quick video on parallel structure. So when you think about parallel structure as a writer, think about train tracks or think about the lines uh, painted on a road, right? If, if we didn't have lines painted on a road or train tracks that went crisscross, there would be absolute chaos in transportation, right? There's a reason why we have parallel lines on the road or the trains follow a parallel line, right? Otherwise we'd have crashes. Just like that concept, you need to think about in your writing, how your sentences and your words convey that structure, that clear line of thinking, okay? So parallel structure, it means that you're using the same pattern to show that your ideas have equal importance. So always think about repeating the same pattern of words, phrases, or clauses. Okay, so this concept of parallel structure is particularly important for thesis statements in your academic essay. That last sentence of the introduction, if you are doing a list thesis statement where you're listing the ideas the paper will prove, you want to make sure that that list is parallel, that the that presentation of the list is in the same pattern. You will repeat words or repeat the style of the words. Now, here are the examples. The author discusses the greed and the obsession of the narrator. So I'm, I'm repeating nouns and I'm using the article the, and I'm going to repeat the article the and with the noun. So I'm going to say the greed and the obsession. It's clean, right? It's parallel. It, there's no chaos. There's no confusion. All right. Here's the second example. The play asks the audience to imagine dancing, singing, and laughing with the main character. So I'm repeating the INGs. Again, that's a style thing, right? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, repeating the ING pattern. The third example, the narrator of the poem seems to laugh, to cry, and to yell in the same stanza. I'm repeating the two. I'm repeating the infinitive phrase, okay? So it's important to just think about what patterns are you using are you repeating nouns? Are you repeating gerunds? Are you repeating infinitives? Are you repeating um, dependent clauses? You want to make sure that the pattern is the same so that the reader feels like they're on the road beside you and with you and the ideas are not being crossed and confused. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.